Okay, so I am going to play this video that I found on YouTube, but I'm going to stop it at times and talk over it. It's about Manifest Destiny. This well-known painting by John Gast has come to represent the American idea of Manifest Destiny. But what is Manifest Destiny? In the middle of the 19th century, Americans were eager to move west. They wanted to see the span of the United States from the Atlantic Ocean to the Pacific. Americans saw empty land waiting to be filled. They thought the open land represented opportunity and potential wealth. By moving west, they could share their unique form of government and the freedom it represented. They believed that America was destined to be a great nation. This concept of discovery was not new. Europeans believed they had a right to claim their discovery. They thought of the new world as a wilderness waiting to be tamed. But this land was not empty. It was home to countless American Indians, people who hunted, farmed, and raised families on the land. These native residents disagreed. They viewed the land as theirs. From the beginning, Americans had a different idea. The whole continent of North America appears to be destined by divine providence to be peopled by one nation, speaking one language, professing one general system of religious and political principles. Okay, I'm going to pause it right here. Well, hold on. And sorry. accustomed to one general tenor. There we go. I'm going to pause it right there. Peopled by one nation, speaking one language, professing one general system of religious and political principles. This is John Quincy Adams. He would be the sixth president of the United States. His dad was the second president of the United States, John Adams. Okay. What do we notice here? Peopled by one nation, speaking one language and one religion. We already learned in the Constitution that the First Amendment says that you cannot limit somebody's speech or their religious freedom. So this is an example of the U.S. government saying one thing but doing something completely opposite because the government wanted to see expansion go out west. ...of social usages and customs. For the common happiness of them all, for their peace and prosperity, I believe it is indispensable that they should be associated in one federal union. John Quincy Adams. Journalist John L. O'Sullivan was the first to use the term Manifest Destiny. He wanted the United States to annex Texas and the Oregon Territory. And that claim is by the right of our Manifest Destiny to overspread and to possess the whole of the continent which Providence has given us for the development of the great experiment of liberty. John L. O'Sullivan Americans believed it was their divine duty to spread democracy from coast to coast. Most didn't think America should take the continent by force. They believed that as Americans moved west, the Indians would gradually relinquish their lands and adapt the ways of the Christian American society. Churches and missionaries shared ridiculous. this belief. There was little or no consideration as to the effect settlement would have on the native peoples. As eastern Indian tribes were moved west to make way for settlers, places like Shawnee Indian Mission were established to help with the transition and pave the way for expansion. Manifest okay, we're going to pause it right there. The rest of this is not super important. I'm, I'm going to talk for one minute. That's ridiculous, and it's an asinine claim that people would be just willing to cut their hair, give up their religion, change their way of life, move into houses, you know, different situations than they ever would have been used to or that they wanted to. They were being forced into this. If somebody came into this state right now and told you how to completely change your, oh, okay, that kind of happened. We have to stay at home, but in a different way, okay, that you have to completely change everything about the way that you live and learn a new language and blah, 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 blah. You'd probably not be okay with it. What I want you to think about is that we live in, in Englewood, okay, two blocks from Denver, essentially. Denver is one of the most historically important United States, you know, trading post slash cities in history. This is the breeding ground of manifest destiny. Okay? Colorado was taken over from Native Americans. You need to keep that in mind as you read about and learn about and answer these questions. How were the populations that were already here greatly affected by the decisions that were made by these people as they moved out west?